Welcome to the Security in 5 podcast. I'm Drew, the Binary Blogger. This is a short program that brings you security news, tips, advice, and opinions in the area of information, IT, and general security in about five minutes. Quick to listen to, easy to understand. The more aware you are, the more secure you can be. This is Security in 5. Thanks for listening. Episode 198 of Security in 5, and today I'm going to kick off a new mini-series, a a 10-episode series on penetration testing and why you should do penetration testing. And we're going to start off with number one is pen testings will help you meet security regulations, uh, regulatory mandates, and potentially avoid fines. Penetration testing uh, is mandated by many industry-specific regulations, especially if you're in the financial or in the healthcare space. In the payment card industry, for example, PCI mandates that both annual and ongoing pen tests after you have any major system changes done to it. Uh, When that occurs, uh, both your network and app level pen tests are to be done. Uh, SOX and HIPAA also require annual pen tests from third parties. So are 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 you doing those? And are you hiring a firm to do it? Just doing it internally from your own internal red team or a uh, internal component doesn't necessarily meet regulatory requirements. They want those third parties, those unbiased, unmanipulated um, uh, organizations to come in to do those those tests. That's what's mandated. Pen tests will help you avoid those types of things if you're audited. Um, other frameworks and regulations, the, G, the GLBA, FISMA, OWASP, ISO 27001 has pen test guidelines. Uh, guidelines, NIST mandates it, the new uh, General Data Protection Regulation, the GDPR, which which comes into effect here in, in May of this year, um, has recommendations to, to, to include regular testing to test the resilience of your applications, uh, as well as your critical infrastructure. And over time, a single annual pen test isn't necessarily enough. As zero days come out, as new vulnerabilities come out, you need to be on top of your patching, be on top of your configurations, be on top of your hardware and your firmware. Network configurations over time, technologies could uh, slow down, fail, fail open. You, the only reason, uh, the only way that you can identify those types of activities is to do a penetration test. Actually test it because that is what the criminals do. And if you just assume that your test from a year ago is going to be sufficient, you might be in for a, a rude shock. And this is what this mini series is going to be about: is penetration testing has always been looked at in the past by as a checkbox approach. It hasn't been organically integrated into security programs as a thing that you do as a behavioral um, change to say, okay, we've just released a big set of code, we've moved up on versions, we need a penetration, not load test it, but pen test it, find the holes, see if there's new vulnerabilities, because God, God knows that just because a patch fixed a security hole here doesn't mean that it introduced a new one. Patches are known to do that, and you can't identify those. You can't rely on the vendor's um, uh, vendors of products to know those types of things, but that's, that's why you pen test. And companies will audit others, supply chain vendors, BAAs, all the way down the chain, ask for pen testing to verify compliance. And if you are not following those and you are under a regulatory mandate to do so, that could cost you far more than hiring a firm to do a pen test. So first top 10 pen tests will help you avoid fines. It'll help you meet regulatory compliance. And if you aren't sure if you need to do pen tests at a mandated level, well, here's a chance to go and read up and figure it out if you do. So penetration testing, don't treat it like a checkbox. It's an organic function that you should be doing and expanding within your environment. Uh, you only know what you know, and pen test is another tool, another another weapon in the arsenal to help maintain your security of your program and of your business. Security in 5, be aware, be safe. Thanks for listening.